In this video, we will do Cauchy homogeneous linear equation. We will solve a Cauchy equation. First of all, we would like to identify it. Cauchy equations looks like this big equation where each term has the same power of x as the order of differentiation. So this is how a Cauchy homogeneous linear equation is identified. First step we do in all Cauchy equations is find the function d using this formula. Well, this is have this have been derived from a very long way. We will not get into it. And the formula is very simple. The formula is d into d minus 1, d minus 2, d minus 3 until or unless we get 1 less than the power of x. Okay. One important thing is that your d here is d with respect differentiation with respect to dz, not with respect to x. And the z value here is z equals to ln x or e exponential of z equals to x. So the third step that is written here is uh, replace or substitute x by ez. This is step 3 is a general step. It will be obeyed not just as step 3, but it might be step 4 in some cases, step 2 in some cases. The thing is, wherever it, uh, we have to replace or substitute x by ez or ez by z by x, we have to follow this rule. We have to follow this step. Then comes the step 2. That's find out finding yc. Finding yc is easy. Only thing is that we have to use the function of d to formulate our yc. Then comes our yp. That's the y particular. This particular solution will follow the same normal norms as we were following in our previous videos. But we will be using the function of d. That has been formulated in our step 1. This is a question that we have to solve where x square and d, uh, the order of the differentiation is 3, whereas the power is or uh, power of x is 2. So we will, uh, it's easy to say that if we multiply all the whole equation by x, we can uh, we can make our Cauchy equation. So we converted this equation into a Cauchy equation by multiplying it by x, multiplying it to x. Then the first step, uh, convert each and every term into function of d using our formula that I'm going to show it in step one. Okay, this formula has been used Here. So x cube, since it's 3 here, we have taken our d minus 1, d minus n to d minus 2. And here it was 2, so we took it to 1. Here it was 1, we took it to d minus 0. And then we made our function of d. To find out yc, it's simple. We simply uh, find out our roots of function of d and put them into this very general equation of yc but make sure that yc here is e raised to power z with the root so um, we have to convert it back because we want our solution in terms of x so we converted it using the substitution and ez was converted into x Here comes our step 4, that's finding out y particular. y particular will follow the same trend as we were following before. Only the function of d is the one we created in step 1. So uh, for this y particular, we also converted our fx term into function of z by the same uh, substitution ez equals to x. So we did that and then it, will, it followed the same normal trend that the power of z was substituted, uh, the coefficient of z was substituted in the function of d because d was with respect to z. So we did that and whatever our answer came to be 4 over 6e raised to power z, 
we convert it back into x term because we want our y particular in x term. So E z was converted to x and then we formulated our general uh, our equation y c plus y p and we had already made our y c and this is our y p we are done with this equation thank you for watching